Welcome to Science, Health and Healing Library of Ali Academy. I'm Dr. Majid Ali. The subject of this article is Castor Oil Rubs for Ovarian Cyst. Here is a letter that I received from someone. Dear Dr. Ali, thank you so much for adding me as your Facebook friend. I came across your YouTube posting on castor oil with heating pad for ovarian cyst. I was so happy to hear from your so well explanation on the subject that on that same day I ran to the store and bought some castor oil. Thank you so much and um, um, please continue to participate in our efforts. I have a complex ovarian cyst on my right side. Um, is quite big one is 8.4 centimeter. I have been bleeding on and off. It hurts not much, but once in a while I do feel a sharp pain. My doctor wants me to have surgery to remove it and have a hysterectomy. I'm 51 year old and she feels it would be better for me to have everything removed once and for all. To be honest with you, I don't want to have surgery at all. I have had ovarian cysts before and had other surgeries and believe me, is nothing fun. Also, I had thyroid surgery. Um, the, the writer continues with some iodine issues and I'm going to do a separate YouTube segment. First of all, I want to thank you. Um, that is Jaslyn, last name withheld. Thank you so much for sending me this email. First things first. What I would want to do is to have a second opinion from another experienced gynecologist. The idea that she wants to do hysterectomy to take everything out all at once, that makes absolutely categorically no sense. The advances in ultrasound technology have allowed us now to clearly delineate and map out the cysts and the complex cysts, the real issue is whether there is solid areas with some uh, papillary or polyp-like growths and then you have to worry about whether there could be any malignancy there. That is the real issue. So now you can always have an ultrasound down six weeks later. Suppose you started doing castor oil rubs and that six weeks actually would prepare you should something else becomes necessary. So the, my answer to hysterectomy for this, I've given you no. My answer to uh, cyst removal, I think if you apply these things, and I think I, I would also suggest that you do Dr. Ali's breakfast and also gut fermentation protocol, and together they will amplify the benefits of castor oil. Now, if your cysts begin to shrink, as they usually do, you repeat the ultrasound. The reason that you have a bleeding every now and then, that categorically is no reason to have the cyst removed to say that cysts are causing this um, uh, bleeding every now and then, uterine bleeding, that is just, <laughs> it, uh, I became chief pathologist back in 1974. Over a period of 29 years in my, uh, as my hospital work, I looked at ovarian cysts literally every week. So I have my own perspective. You can also do a test CA uh, 125, that's a marker for cancer of the ovary. And I think it would be good if your marker is very low, if you do that for four weeks, repeat an ultrasound and that the fallopian tubes are shrinking, then I think it gives you more. You know, I want to make an important point. When you do these natural things, and let's say it does become necessary later on to have surgery or to have other treatments of cancer, you are so much more prepared to go through surgery, and if necessary, most of the time chemotherapy for ovarian cancer really doesn't work. But I don't want to make a generic denouncement of chemotherapy. There are two articles you might want to watch. One is saying yes to chemotherapy, and one is saying no to chemotherapy. Please watch those programs. So again, get a second opinion from a gynecologist who is not part of the same group. Get a sequential ultrasound, which can map out and go to the same place where they did the first one and specifically ask that they should compare the findings on the two ultrasounds done. Sometimes if there is just one large cyst, you can always 
laparoscopically have the fluid aspirated. And if it collapses and there is nothing left behind, there are no solid areas, there is really no need, reason for surgery. I thank you for writing this letter so I can share it with other people. And I will come back and address the problem of iodine in the second part of your letter as a second video segment. Until you meet again, may you be gracious, graceful, and generous in your spirit. Thank you so much. Support us and forward this YouTube segment to your email, Facebook, or Twitter contacts. Thank you.